Hey, what's up Camp Nerd fans? This is Ian, back with another tutorial on a series of making a notepad. And I've been doing these tutorials kind of quick, keeping them short, and they're being released each day that I'm going to be gone out of town for Christmas holidays. So if you think that this is, they're kind of rushed and everything, that's the reason why. Uh, today, I've been doing all these videos on the same day. I'm leaving uh, Friday, which is in two days, and I will be out of town for for a week, so I'm getting these videos done to where we can actually get them to where we need to be. So, uh, before I get into anything, let me just check and see where we're at. I need to rename this to uh, part four, like so, and then this right here is the video I'm recording right now. All right, so what we've been doing is, for new people that's just joining in seeing this, we are cloning my nerd pad where I keep all my notes and as you see you can type and it keeps the character limit it does the accepts return it accepts tab uh, so I mean there's a lot of things on here you can do a new document it clears everything out and whenever we open you see test file and it'll come up and give you your file name test file now, I have not uh, really implemented this into my application yet because I'm still building on to it. We're not going to worry about the print document and things like that. So let's get into this tutorial. All right, so now if you bring up the notepad of where we are at, you'll notice that we have uh, a good little section and uh, we're just going to kind of minimize that right there and we have the open save or the new save and open then we have the character limit and we just done this in the last tutorial to where we have the character limit okay so now what we're going to do real quick is uh, on this button right here the btn new we're just going to bring this over. So now on the uh, menu item, which is the BTN new, we are going to give this an X name of BTN new. All right. Now we're going to give it a click event. So click and then add that event handler. And then if you come over here, you'll see that the event handler has been added. So what we're going to do on this is it's very, very simple. And this is going to be clearing the text for the BTN new button. All right, so now within this BTN new click, what we're going to do is we're going to put our text body dot text and it is going to equal empty quotation marks. All right, now uh, we're also going to put the uh, file name in next. So down here where you have your text block uh, for your character count, uh, basically you are just going to highlight this right here. You're going to copy it, control C, come down, paste it, control V, and then you're just going to come down and you're going to change two things. And it's going to be the text of it, and it's going to be file name. All right, then you're going to come over here, and uh, the X name is going to be file name. So now once we uh, run this, you will see, to give you a pretty good look, you'll see your file name is mentioned right here. So let's actually get into coding the uh, new and the file. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, with the uh, file, we're just going to add the text uh, is going to be 
uh, file name dot text and it is going to equal and then this is just going to be empty like so. All right, now we're just going to come out, we're going to close that. Now we are going to uh, get into the save. Now we are going to give this an X name, an X name of btn save. And then we're going to give it a click event. Click. Uh, well, let's do that again. And it's going to be a new event handler, which gives you the click event. And if you come over here, you'll see that the btn save is done. So now what we need to do is we need to actually get into the save function. Now what we're going to be using on here is we're going to be using and then this is going to be uh, Microsoft dot win32 and then using system dot IO all right, now we can come down to the save uh, click event, and we are going to do the same thing. Is underneath the uh, save, we are going to add a private void save file. All right, now within this save file, we are going to use the save file dialog, save equals new save file dialog. And then what you want to do right here is you want to close it off with your semicolon because it's going to be simplified. If you do it the regular way, have you always done it in uh, your uh, win forms. So here we are going to put title equals, and then it's going to be save your file. You're going to come outside of that and you're just going to put a comma. Now you're going to put your filter equals, and then this is going to be text documents. And then you're going to put your opening closed uh, parentheses and you're going to put star dot txt and then you're going to come out do your pipeline which is the line straight up and down it is above the enter key uh, so that will give you your pipeline shift and pipeline then you're just going to do star dot txt like so you're going to close that off uh, well no don't close that off you're going to put a comma and then under filter, you are going to put file name equals, and then it's going to be blank. All right, now, if you come outside of that right there, this is going to be if, and then uh, this is going to be, uh, yeah, we won't do uh, that. We'll put if uh, save dot show dialog is equal to true then we are going to use stream writer Uh, define it as SW equals new stream writer. And then within the stream writer, we're going to put file dot create. And then it's going to be save dot uh, file name, like so. And then... Uh, we need to add another closing parenthesis to get rid of that little error. Then we are going to put uh, streamwriter dot write. 
and then this is going to be your save dot file name and then we're going to come down it's going to be sw dot dispose like so all right now with that you want to come outside of this right here and you will want to put your uh, file name what you put over here for your label so it's going to be uh, character count and file name so it's going to be uh, file name file name dot text equals and then we're going to leave that blank right there so file name and I'm looking over here just uh, for something and so it's going to be uh, file name put your like that plus space that out plus and then this is going to be uh, your system dot io dot path dot get file name without extension if you get file name it'll uh, it'll have the file name dot txt if you get file name without the extension then uh, it's uh, it'll pretty much it'll just be uh, just the file name all right, then we're going to come down underneath that, and then we're going to put uh, car count dot text equals, and then it's uh, you're going to well, you really don't even have to uh, do that. You can come down and just define your uh, car count like so. All right, and we uh, defined the uh, character count uh, right here. Character count, we defined that. You just come down and you can just define it like that right there. So now, if we start it, well, before we start it, we need to call the save file. So save file like so. So now the save file is done. So if we start it and we see, okay, okay, this is a test. You see 17. We are going to click save file. Just randomly save it. And it did not come up the way that I want it to. So let's see. Let's see what did we miss. Uh, all right. So we got Streamwriter. Okay. So uh, that's SW.write. And then that is going to be your uh, txt body dot text I think I had uh, the file name there so if we add characters hit save and then save it it already exists all right, where do we save it? Oh, it saved it here. I put it on this PC. Let's go to desktop so you can see. Uh, we're going to save that. Well, crap. All right. So let's save it. And you see it comes up here, but it does not uh, come up right here. 
So let's do that, save it, and you see it comes up right there. Now, after we do uh, the dispose, what we need to do is we need to restore uh, the directory. So sw dot, well, let's come outside of that. So sw, yes, okay, the restore directory is on the uh, open file. So, all right, so uh, just, just to check to make sure, uh, yeah, it's going to be on the open. So if we start it, you'll see that whenever we save it, and then we're going to save it as uh, desktop, save it as file name, then you see that it comes up right there. All right, then if we want to do a new, it'll just clear everything out and you're back to one. So that is where we at. We are at on that. So this is it for this tutorial. And I will, uh, in the next tutorial, we'll do the save file dialog. And uh, also to show you one more thing, whenever you save that, save, uh, we'll put a saved file here so that way you see where it's at. We're going to save it to the desktop, save file here. You see down here your file name comes saved file here. So that is that right there. All right, so this is it for this tutorial, and it took a little bit longer than what I expected. I had a few hiccups. Uh, I am still drinking my coffee, and this is the fifth video that I've done in like 30 minutes for the next couple of weeks. So if you... Uh, like the video, hit the like button. If you are not part of the Camp Nerd family and you would like to be, then hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and as always, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. So, keep it nerdy.